Allahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode in the Neo Four series. In this, t- in today's uh, episode, we'll be porting to one point twenty point four and fixing a few issues here and there. So, firstly, we want to just start off with uh, porting to one point twenty point four. So, we just want to uh, update some of our plugins and our dependencies. So, first of all, you want to update the. You want to just change the user dev to seventy point zero point nine seven. And then you want to uh, go ahead and just scroll down here to where it says pack form one number. You no longer need this because pack, uh, pack DOM C data is no longer used in uh, 1.20.4. All right, once you've done that, now you want to head over to your gradle.properties folder. You want to change this to 1.20.4. You want to update the new, for, new, new version to <coughs> 20.4.198. And then you want to update the new mod range to four, and then this to two. Now, additionally, we're going to add one more thing. This is parchment mapping, which basically adds uh, the variable names and parameter names. Won't be like p underscore thing. They'll have the name, and there'll be some Java doc here and there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do. Uh, it's going to be neo gradle. Neo gradle dot subsystems dot uh, parchment parchment dot minecraft on this minecraft minecraft version and this is just going to be the minecraft version and then you want to do the same thing here just copy this and just going to do instead of map you know mapping mapping version and this is just going to be 20 you can to get the mapping version you're just going to go you can just type uh, parchment mapping on google and it'll give you the website parchment version for the mapping version you can just head over to google and just type in parchment mapping and top parchment mc and it get getting started and then you can see all the versions here for all the versions and then you, if it's not available you can just go on their github and it should be there so once you've done that you want to change this to also the modding range to one point 20.4 what all this is basically doing is that it's basically all this is in the gradle when you're running a task this task it just in the build folder is creating a, a, a temporary uh, uh, mods.tml uh, uh, file and it's inputting all the values so you don't have to have like duplicate values here this is why uh, you have all this here dot mod author dot mod id etc also you want to get rid of your pack dot mc meta after you've refreshed your gradle and there's some changes that you need to do in your mods dot tml and that one of the changes is that uh, uh you instead of having mandatory tree it's been changed now to uh something called um so if you just change get rid of this here and this is now called uh uh mandatory it's called type required you just that's what it's called so you just do type 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 equals required that's basically mandatory so it's been changed so you can do you want to do the same here uh, there's now the, the, the other types also basically you can have required optional incompatible or discouraged and the case sensitive a required requires a mod to exist optional doesn't require incompatible will prevent the game from loading when the mod exists and discouraged will show a warning and in essence type equals required so if you want to have here so you can just have a uh, required 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 uh, required optional uh, optional incompatible and discouraged discouraged well that should be fine now we need to make some other changes because we're updating to uh, 1.24 now you can see that neoforge have deprecated uh the fml java more lot of context so instead of, all you have to do is here just type boss dot add listener and uh, just get rid of this stop the error from here uh, coming up so another error that you want to do is you want to head over to your recipe main recipe provider and you can see that uh, the this uh, constructor here has been deprecated so local provider uh, uh, is no longer uh, basically passed in so you just want to do, get rid of that so 
I could just do get rid of it here and then just do it here then here here and then we just close get rid of it here here and then just want to change individually so we just get a little look up a provider and then after this you want to rerun your data gen so it refreshes the JSON files you can uh, so just just run that and it should everything should be fine all right so now we want to head over to here and then we can just get rid of that here that's fine uh, uh oh one second oh yeah i've got recipe output all right so that should uh, so we've fixed that and now uh you if you just run build if you run build and uh, to check for any more errors there shouldn't be any because uh that's all the uh oh yeah Oh yeah, uh, blocked up properties has been changed to off full copy of legacy copy. So off legacy copy was just uh, the same as off uh, just copy and off full copy will just basically make your block basically n identical to uh, that uh, the stone block. For example, in our case here, and we just do off full copy here, full copy and of full copy and then additionally if we head over to a custom tool module material uh that's fine we're gonna change that in a minute and here uh i want to just insert that just to get rid of the warning all right so now we've finished porting uh 1.20.4 so now we're gonna head over and fix one issue we had which was with the uh when building the items uh when we had our material custom tool materials uh, one of the issues that arised um, from a comment on YouTube and I, from a comment on one of the videos I realized that because we've set the speed to zero when you're mining anything Basically with the pickaxe it, it didn't work and additionally there is a simpler way to uh, Implement all these tiers rather than using just an enum. So what one thing we will do is We can just uh, delete this now and then in your cause or in for you're going to create a new thing called it's going to be called tier in it this is just more simpler and in here we're going to have the same thing as before so public static public static simple tier so in forge this was known as a forge tier and then we're just going to call this sword and in here we're going to have a new simple tier and here we're just going to have three which is our level so the level basically is the in the case of uh, a pickaxe it's how the required to mine and the sword is just pub it's, it's this uh application it's basically how the type of le level so if level one probably like a wooden level two would be uh stone etc etc the next thing is here is uh uses so that's how the maximum amount of time you can use durability basically the speed is how fast the tool is so because with uh Swords is quite different to pickaxe and you don't really necessarily to mine it to, you need it to mine anything you can just set it to zero and the next thing here is attack damage bonus so we're going to set that zero because when we're setting it in the item minutes it just uh balances out 10 is how many enchants it can be on here and the next thing is here we're going to head over to our tags in it uh, in here and then we're going to create a new tag and this tag is going to be something similar to if you head over to your data and in your tags we have something called mineable with pickaxe needs iron tool what this basically means is that it needs uh this type tool to be able to mine a certain block and in our case for example we can make it where to mine a deep sleep or example it requires our pickaxe so that's like an example use case so to create our tag tag we're just going to do public static tag so we just do tag and in here tag key block and in here we're going to type needs underscore example and then we're just going to do block tags and in here instead of create we just leave this for now and then no this will just be uh, one second example needs underscore example and now in here we're going to have one called public static resource location this is going to be called create uh we're going to call this create custom resource location and this is going to be tutorial.modid and our name and it's just do this here and then we're going to call this here 
you know what to use in it. So we're just gonna two tags in a dot block tags in a dot need example and then one more thing here is going to be the thing that will be used to uh, the the item that will be used to fix the the sword so ingredient of item in it example item dot item in it and in here we're just going to do example item dot get so uh three two or oh, zero zero well uh, second the block tag supplier shun value damage bonus speed use level oh yeah they just do instead oh yeah speed just do 0, 0.0 oops that should be fine f now 0.0 f that should be fine what other thing oh yeah and here just do 0, 0.0 f don't need a 0, 0.0 so that should be fine and the other issues oh, oh yeah we need to do we need to do this other supply so just do this that's fine and now we need to do for our pickaxe so for the pickaxe our speed we need to make it we, this speed determines how fast the block is mined if it's zero obviously that block won't be mined this will require that and for the level so level one is uh, wood in level two is no level zero is wood level one is stone level two is iron level three is diamond and level four will be netherite you can have a custom level as if you want but this will basically determine what type of blocks you can mine in terms so if you have level one yeah you will you can mine a netherite uh, a block but if you have level three because you need diamond to mine it you will be able to mine it in essence so you just put here level level three is diamond diamond so spell and then here speed needs needs to be greater than greater than zero uh no speed needs to be greater than zero in order in order to be able to mine so that that should fix the issue that was occurring in the past so that's fine now we just take out here in it and just chuck it here and here so that's it that should basically and then we should just get rid of that and then once we've done that we've basically uh ported to 1.20.4 and fixed an issue that was occurring which basically fixes our issue so if you just uh, run your data generation run the game everything should be working accordingly so if i just run the game now for uh, example so you just do client uh, run client so i'll meet you back once the game has loaded our game has loaded this is our example pickaxe and if we just mine our customer you can see it works and now if you mine diamond you can see it works so that's basically fix our issue and we've ported to 1.20.4 that's pretty much it this tutorial see you next week peace out and alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh